Hi, in this video we are going to learn about polygonal numbers. We will learn the concepts about the polygonal number and after that we are going to derive a formula to find a polygonal number. So first let's discuss what a polygonal number is. So as you can see I have noted down certain things on the screen. This says the first polygonal number is always 1 and the second is equal to the number of vertices in the polygon. So suppose if I talk about triangular numbers, they are saying that first triangular number will always be 1 and the second triangular number will be the number of vertices in the polygon. So the second triangular number will be 3 because there are 3 vertices in triangle. Right? But when we talk about square numbers, first square number will be 1 as per this definition and second square number will be yes 4 because a square has 4 vertices and if I talk about pentagonal number, first pentagonal number will be 1 right? and the second pentagonal number will be yes 5 because a pentagon has five vertices right so this will construct a pentagon a regular pentagon right and when we were talking about the square numbers the second square number was four because there are four vertices in a square right and in triangular number the second number is three because there are three vertices in a triangle isn't it and what they are saying next next they are saying that third onwards can be found by increasing one point each on two adjacent sides and then again constructing a regular polygon on the previous one. So if I talk about the next triangular number and in this case now we are trying to find the third triangular number, third square number and third pentagonal number. So I'll take its previous drawing. So previous drawing over here is the second triangular number which has three points and it has a triangle like this, right? So let me repeat the square also and pentagon also. Pentagon I'm going to repeat over here because I have to do certain constructions over this in the next step. So this is the previous square and this is the previous pentagon. And now what we want to do, we want to find the third number. So to find the third number, I'll take any two adjacent sides. So I'm taking this side and this side. And what they're saying, increase these two sides by one point each. So if I increase these two sides by one point each, I have got three points on these two sides. So now what we have to do, we have to construct a regular triangle which has three points on each sides. So if I try to construct a triangle, I'll get this line and this line and if I draw this line, I don't have three points. So I have to put one more point to convert it into a regular triangle, right? And now if I count the number of points, that will be the next triangular number. Right? So how many points do we have now? We had three original points and then we have added three more points to upgrade this to the next regular triangle with three points on each side and now if I count number of points on this triangle there are one, two, three, four, five, six, six points on the triangle. So first triangular number was one, second was three and the third triangular number is six. And how to find the third square number. Again I'll follow the same procedure. I'll take these two adjacent sides, increase each side by one point. So by doing that I have three points on these sides and now I have to convert this into a square with three points on each side. So I have to put three more points like this. Right? And this will make a square which has three points on each side and if we count the number of points on this square will give us the next square number. So the first square number was one, 
second square number was 4 and the third square number will be yes the number of points on this figure so number of points on this figure is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so 9 is the third square number right so if we talk about the triangular numbers we have got a series which is 1 3 and 6 and if I talk about the square numbers we have got another series their first number is 1 second is the number of vertices in the square and third is 9 which is a square where each side has three points and it is built over its previous figure that is the main thing and now if I talk about this pentagon and I want to find the next pentagonal number again I have to take two adjacent sides and again I am taking these two sides the horizontal one and one which is on the left side of it and what I have to do next yes I'll increase these two points by one point each that makes three points on each side and now I have to construct a pentagon which has three points on each side so yes this will be one then this will be two and this will be three this will be the pentagon see this will be the pentagon isn't it and how many points does it have yes these five were the original points right and this and this we have added recently and to convert this pentagon into a regular pentagon which has three points on each side I have added these more points right and if now I count the number of points this will be the new pentagonal number and what will it be I had five points in the smaller pentagon and then I have increased one two three four five six seven more points so five plus seven twelve is the next pentagonal number right so the series we have got is one five and twelve following the same method you can find an hexagonal number heptagonal number or octagonal number any polygonal number can be found by using this method right so this was the basics about polygonal number and yeah these figures are not that good looking so I'm going to replace these figures by better looking figures these are little cleaner picture of triangular number and square number so see in our earlier session also we have started with a point which is over here so this gives us the first triangular number which is 1 and the second triangular number is always the number of vertices in the case of triangle we have three vertices so second triangular number is 3 to find the third triangular number what we have done yes we have taken these two adjacent sides and increased one point each on the side so that makes three points on these two sides and then we convert this into a regular triangle or an equilateral triangle which should have three points right this is the process of finding the next triangular number so here we have got three plus three six points so next triangular number is six and what we have done here till here this is this figure only and then we have increased one point over here one point over here to make four points on each side and to find the next triangular number I should have four points on the third side also and this gives us the next triangular number which is 6 plus 4 10 right so 10 is the fourth triangular number and next triangular number will be 10 plus 5 15 and sixth triangular number will be 15 which is this triangle plus 6 is 21 right and if you remember we have discussed the formula to find the nth triangular number tn was n into n plus 1 by 2 right for details you can watch that video so this was the triangular number and when we were discussing about the square numbers the first number was 1 and second number was the number of vertices in the square so that was 4 and to find the third number what we have done 
Yes, we have taken these two adjacent sides of this figure and increased one point on each side. That makes three points on each side. And to find the third square number, I have to construct a square which has three points on each side. So if I do that, number of points, it has becomes nine. And to find the fourth triangular number, again, we follow the same procedure. This time, I take the figure of the third triangular number, which is this much. And then I increase one point on each side, which are these two points. And then that makes four points on each side. And then I construct a square, which has four points on each side. And if I count all the points, this gives us the fourth square number and which is nothing but the square of 4 that is 16 and if we follow the same procedure I get the fifth square number which will be 25 because this figure has 25 points and sixth square number has 6 6 or 36 points so to find the nth square number tn will be equal to n square right so this was how do we find triangular or square numbers Yes, I have pictures on pentagonal and hexagonal numbers also. So let's see them. Yes, so here we have drawings related to pentagonal and hexagonal number. I know you understood the concept completely, but these pictures will help you in strengthening your concepts, right? So to find the pentagonal number also, what we have done, we have followed the exactly same procedure. The first the pentagonal number is one, second is five, and to find the third, yes, I have taken these two adjacent sides and increased those sides by one point each. And then I have constructed a polygon which has three points on each side. So now if we count the number of points on this pentagon, we will find the third pentagonal number, which will be 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So 12 is the third pentagonal number. And if we talk about the fourth pentagonal number, it will be 12. 12 points are in this pentagon, right? And then I have to add these points, which I have drawn recently. So 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. So 22 will be the fourth pentagonal number. And this will be 22 plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 22 plus 13, that is 35. This will be the fifth pentagonal number, right? Yes. And uh, if I talk about the hexagonal number, again, we have 1 as our first hexagonal number and 6 as the second hexagonal number. And then we have 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 as the third hexagonal number. And then we have 28 as the fourth hexagonal number and 45 as our fifth hexagonal number. So this was about the polygonal number. In next video, we will derive a formula to find nth polygonal number. So bye-bye.